Hello people, welcome back to my channel Shake Rides. In today's video, we're going to talk about uh, something new and different. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, Interceptor 650 tires available in the market. We're going to talk about the stock tires. Uh, this is not a promotional video. This is something I wanted to buy a tire for Interceptor 650 for a very long time. My rear tire has completely worn out. So that's the reason I thought I'll make some analysis and some kind of googling to see which tire is good. So if you're someone who's planning to change a tire for Interceptor 650, uh, stay tuned till the end and also if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to my channel Shake Rides. your subscription helps me to make many such videos Alright, so let's see what Interceptor 650 tires are all about Okay, to start with, uh, my vehicle has uh, run about 40k kilometers on the odometer and uh, this is the third tire I'm, I would be changing. The, this was this is 2019 model, so I had got Pirelli tires, uh, which were uh, decent tires. It had very less life, uh, almost like close to 14,000 I rode it. Usually they come around uh, 12,000 kilometers after the, they completely get owned out and um, you will not get much of grip. Then uh, when I had plans of changing that, uh, I changed sear tires as well. I have also made a video on that. Uh, here's the link here. You can go to this video and check about the CA tires that I've done a review. CA tires were uh, not costly. Uh, they were very affordable. When I took it was close to 4000 something. We're going to talk about uh, the 150 section, 130 section as well. So let's talk about 130 section tires. So first of all, the options for the tires are for the Interceptor 650 are very less. When I changed my first tire, they were very less. Now, I think a couple of companies have come up with uh, uh, this uh, 18 inch wheels 17 inch you have so many options so many varieties but 18 inch very less options so when i change uh, to ca tires those were the stock tires then the interceptor then the royal infield was offering with interceptor 650 and i went for that after doing a little bit of analysis on tires like timson ralco and um, pirelli as well what i learned in that experience is pirellis were very costly uh, Timson was not very reliable because it was coming from China. I did not want to put uh, money on something which I don't believe. Uh, many people have installed it. It's a 150 section. People have made videos, but I always felt that going with the stock is when you get the best experience or the best performance of your bike. And my ride style is pretty uh, rough. I am not a smooth rider. Uh, in city, I, I, I ride my Interceptor 650 like a KTM Duke 390. Yeah. So, so I know uh, the, the wear and tear of my tire is pretty quick. So, which tire is we have? The tire I went for is Vredestine, it's called, it's coming from Apollo. Before I went to this, I searched and googled about uh, Timson, I didn't do that. See it, there was the option 130 section seat. There is another section of, uh, there is another tire as well, which is coming from Meteor, 17 inch wheels and uh, the dimension is pretty much same as of uh, your 130 section tire if you are planning to increase your tire size i would suggest yeah you can go you can go with the 140 section tire of a meteor it's a direct fit into interceptor 650 i did not try it uh, doing that what happens is your ground clearance is going to have an impact because it's a 17 inch wheels the stock ones are 18 inch wheels though you it would give a beefy look uh, it's up to you if you feel that you're okay with if you're able to compromise on that ground clearance you can go with 140 section uh, a meteor tire yeah it's a CA tire again it will cost you around 3800 or something or 4000 close to the current interest to 650 tires stock tires are coming from Apollo Redestine these are uh, radial tires they are costly compared to CA uh, I think what 40 percent high than you compared to CA, CA tires so this will cost you close to 7,000, 6.5,000 to 7,000 depending on the place you buy online or nearby local tires guy. I got it from 6K. Uh, I bought it like almost one and a half month back and I'm planning to install it now. So I had an offer. I got it from 6K here in uh, a nearby shop. And uh, what's good about this? It is a tubeless tire. It is a 130 section. Uh, which are coming in the stock and uh, the other tires that i want to talk about is you have ralco uh, they have 130 section they also have 140 section they are button tires they, they are 
uh, the very affordable prices compared to C8, they will come close to 3,000, 3,500 rupees. The problem with that Ralco tyres is they do not have a good um, speed rating. I mean, their, their speed rating is, I believe, P, I believe. Uh, the interceptor stock or the ones we need, which you need to go is H rating. H rating is something the top speed you can do on that is more than 200 kilometers per hour and, uh, and also how much weight it can handle. I think H is the rating that you need to always look into the tires when you're buying for Interceptor 650. So Ralco does come with a lower rating, so I avoided it. It is a button tires, not until unless you're doing a hardcore uh, off-roading, I would not go for that. The other one you get is there are a new company that's come up recently that's called Reese Tires, Rice Tires, I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, their tires also are good, but again, uh, uh, you get 130 section as well and uh, I think it, it comes with button tiles as well as I think I'll put it on the screen how they look what are the prices even that will cost you around uh, 4,000 four and a half thousand rupees change uh, about it then you get uh, CI tires we know that uh, you get uh, zoom cruise tires 130 section four and a half thousand rupees something uh, then you get um, uh, Timson 150 section, I don't know how reliable they are, you don't get it from any local place, all you have to do it online. If something happens to it, I don't know who's going to answer to that. Uh, removing out of the list. Then you have, of course, you have uh, Pirelli tires, Scorpion tires, that will cost you 30,000 rupees, I believe, or 25,000 rupees just for the rear one. Metzler tires will cost you around uh, 35,000 rupees, just a, a, a rear one. Um, but those are performance oriented uh, tires, so if you are hardcore performance that you're expecting from a Royal Enfield 650, you, you've done a lot of modifications, only then you can go for that, if not, you don't need it. My usage is that I go to office, I commute daily in this bike, I sometimes go on long rides in this bike, a very less off-roading, so for me, a stock tire should work and that's the reason I'm going for Redestin. My suggestion to you all is, keep it stock and uh, you will have a good performance from your tires and you also get because tires are something that the first thing that gets worn out very soon in the bike so you need to have good tires and uh, uh, if you are planning to change tire size i don't think so 150 more than 150 section this will not go uh, rem remember this the dimension for this is 130 by 70 by r 18 inch h rating 18 inch is the rim size the 130 section is your width your 70 section is nothing but this this size okay so if this changes that is um, i think the same dimension you get in meteor 140 70 and 17 so this is a direct way it goes but anything like 140 150 and it is 60 right that will not fit uh, do not take it it will not fit directly to you have to do so many modifications uh, the other other dimension is h rating as i told you you need a speed rating uh, so go for 210 kilometers i believe that's the speed reading rate. that's the tire uh, rating you need for interceptor 650. Uh, the width you have between the swing arm right i think that will maximum can allot 150 section tire anything more than that you'll have to increase the swing arm uh, you have to do the changes which is a bit of a work i would not suggest i'm going to install this today and see how this is gonna uh, feel in my first ride my first impressions after maybe a 5000 kilometers or maybe 2000 kilometers later i would give a long review on this how good the tire is how, how different it is is it worth or do we need to go for something else Okay guys, uh, that was the fitting of the tire and uh, here it is, the tire is fitted, you can see, looks brand new, looks very nice. I somewhat feel this looks a little beefy compared to your uh, C8 130 section tires and uh, let me talk about the dimensions for you, how the tire uh, dimension actually defines, what are the numbers means. So you can see here, uh, the tire dimensions are 130, 130 is nothing but your width by 70 70 is nothing but your height of the tire from the rim and that's a radial tire r stands for radial and this is 18 inch wheels m by c is nothing but motorcycle and this is 
63 V. So uh, V is a high rating in tyres. They are basically used for uh, um, your high uh, performance oriented super bikes or cars. V rating is for that. H rating is little less. Previously, CA tyres were providing H rating. The top speed you can do on that is 210 uh, kilometers per hour. In V, you can do 240 kilometers per hour. So this will not go 200 or so, but uh, that's the rating it comes with, and that's why it is it's priced close to 6,000 in between 7,000 something, right? That's about the dimensions. So that's the number means. Uh, one other important thing I want to tell you is this is not a tube tire. This is a tubeless tire. If you have to use it for your spoke wheels, you have to use a tube in it and then use it. These are standard uh, alloy tires, so you won't get a tube in it. So that's one thing. So, so to summarize uh, what we discussed so far is uh, tires available in the market for Interceptor 650 are very less because of its 18 inch wheel uh, portfolio and uh, you also can fit 17 inch wheel into this. The direct fit would be Meteor uh, 140 section tyre, a rear tyre directly to the rear tyre. It has a similar uh, dimensions, so you can fit it. Apart from that, uh, but the problem with that would be is that you will lose your little bit of ground clearance and uh, the performance will vary because back you have 17 inch, at the front you have 18 inch, so I am not sure how the performance will be. My suggestion, my suggestion is always that you keep the stock as much as possible for performance that you are expecting from the bike. You can also go for 150 section tires, you have Timson, you have Metzler, you have, uh, uh, you also have Pirelli tires, they are way costly, uh, Timson tires are the ones which are more affordable I believe close to 12k or 9k something, but Metzler and um, Pirelli tires will cost you 25 to 35k, the exact figures I will put it down, uh, that is about it. Uh, the other tires, affordable tires you can go for is C8 tires that will cost you around 4000 rupees or 3900 rupees depending on where you buying it. That is the most affordable one, the rear one, 130 section one. And uh, these are very distinct coming from Apollo. Uh, these are the ones that are, you can see in a new Interceptor and Continental GT bikes. So you can go for that. Uh, 6,000 rupees is what I got, but I think now it's close to 6,900 rupees. The other, other uh, tire you get is MRF tires you get. Um, that is also close to uh, six, uh, I believe that's close to 5000 rupees something, you can go for that also, but again performance I have not checked, I can't comment on that. I will give my um, opinion or a long term review sometime later. Uh, I have just done few kilometers on it and it felt okay, it felt good, I can say because I have not done in high speeds. So once I do high speeds, I will definitely give my bet on this. So that's about the video guys, that's about the tires. If you are new to this channel or you have liked this video, please subscribe to my channel. Your subscription helps me to make many such videos and um, do not forget to press the notification button uh, to get the latest updates on my videos. And uh, do let me know what you feel about this in my comment section, what tires you have tired, tried with and how is the performance, let me know in my, in my comment section. I will respond to that as I get time. And uh, this is it, I am Sheikh, I will see you in my next video, till then, bye.